Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. As you can see we are in Minecraft 1.13 pre-release 2 and Minecraft 1.13 won't be supporting customized worlds. This may cause a lot of you some problems. Luckily in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can use a third party program known as MBT Explorer to change the properties of your world and be able to open it in Minecraft 1.13. So let's jump into the single player menu. We have two worlds here, they're both called Customized World and you'll notice the bottom one here it says 1.13 pre-release 2 and the top one says 1.12.2 this one right here is a copy of the world above and I've been able to open it using this trick with MBT Explorer so the difference between the two worlds when we hover over this one you can see there is an exclamation mark it says this world is no longer supported and can only be played in 1.12.2 when we try and play it, it says unsupported world unfortunately we cannot support customized worlds in this version of Minecraft Please downgrade to 1.12.2 to play this world, we are sorry for the inconvenience. Well the world that I have here is actually the same as the one above and I can click on the play button and we can jump into the world and check it out and it's just a normal working Minecraft world even though it is customised. So how have I done this? Well I'm going to show you in this video but first of all we're going to bump over to Minecraft 1.12 and create a world to convert. Well we're actually going to be making two worlds for a reason you'll find out very soon. But first of all, I wanted to show you this process so that you know exactly what this tutorial is for. We are in Minecraft 1.12.2, we are creating a new world, and there are some options. And this one over here, the world type, if you go to customize, this is a button that no longer appears in 1.13. And this is the world type that isn't supported. So if you created a world and you had selected this here, this tutorial applies to you. Now the reason that we're going to create two worlds is because there is a high chance that you may have just come in here to slide the dungeon count all the way up. And if you've done that, I believe that uh, upgrading to 1.13 is going to be really easy for you. However, if you've messed around with some of these other options, especially the size of biomes and rivers, there are going to be some problems you will see in 1.13. And I want to show you that in this video. So the first world that we're going to create just has the dungeon count changed. In this second world we're going to change some different things. The sea level is going to be lowered down, we're going to change the size of biomes and rivers and that means that what we see in the world is going to be drastically different from how it would generate with the normal settings and that is important to show you one of the other problems we're going to have with upgrading these worlds. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and create this world now and then we're going to try and open them in 1.13. So we are now back in Minecraft 1.13 and obviously uh, we are not going to be able to open either of these worlds. We get the error message and that's just fine. We're now going to use the MBT Explorer program to fix this. But first of all there is a file we need to know about inside the world save. So what you'll need to do for the world is click on it, go to the bottom, click on edit and then click on open world folder and it is going to uh, pop up the folder on your computer and here you'll be able to see the level.dat that is the file that we're going to edit with this program so uh, remember where it is on your computer at the top here you can see the uh, file directory to where the file is stored so that will help you locate it with this program MBT Explorer we are now looking at minecraftforum.net. This is the thread for MBT Explorer. This is a third party application and usually I'm a little bit hesitant to promote the use of these things but this one seems to be the standard that everyone's using and I've never had a problem with it but of course always use these programs at your own risk. If we scroll down through this thread there are lots of information here, questions and answers etc but the download links are right here and if you click on the Windows Linux link it takes you to this page. So there are two options here, you've got the MSI which is the Windows installer so if you download that it'll install it, create a link uh, on your desktop, in your start menu, that kind of thing. You can also download the zip and extract that zip and run it as a standalone application which means it just runs out of the folder you put it in. So those are your two options for installing it and once you've done that you'll need to fire up the program. So this is MBT Explorer and I'm not here to give you a tutorial on the ins and outs of this program. We are going to go straight to the point. Uh, we need to open the worlds behind us over here, custom dungeons. So if I go to uh, this right here, it actually remembers where I were before which happens to be uh, in the same folder. So if we open up custom dungeons, we're going to open that file I talked about, level.dat and then inside of here all we have to do is edit two fields and you'll be able to spot it quite quickly because there is this long string of text. 
although it might not be long depending on what you've chosen, but the one above it, generate a name, we need to double click and then simply type default and then click OK. And then we need to double click this one, delete all of that text, leave it completely blank and click OK. And that's literally all you've got to do with this thing. So now we click the save button and then we'll be ready to open it inside of the game. So with the edits to those files made, we can now go ahead and open these worlds. Notice how the exclamation mark has gone from red to orange, and that's because you will now see this when you open it up. Do you really want to load this world? What I would highly recommend doing is click on the backup and load. It'll simply make a backup, and then if anything goes wrong, you'll be able to load that backup. And if you want to know where to get the backup from, just click on edit and then open backups folder. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into this world. So when I generated this world, I simply just stood here for a minute, let the chunks around me load, and then I logged out. So if we are to fly over in this direction, we are now generating new chunks. And what you won't see is a border, because in this world, all we did is we changed the amount of times the dungeons appear in the world, which means all of the terrain will pretty much stay the same, and you're going to have all of the new features. Now, of course, this wasn't the same on the other type, so let's go and load up that world and see how it looks. So here is the world that had the custom terrain. There are swamps, a dark forest, extreme hills, a flower forest biome, all in the same area together. And that's because we changed the terrain and made it so the biomes were small. Now behind me we've got a bit of an ocean and if we fly off in this direction we will come to areas that weren't created in 1.12. And you can see because of this the ocean height is now different. We have the update aquatic features in the ocean appearing over here. And of course they don't appear in these spaces because we have different terrain generation going on over here. If I continue to explore you can see it gets pretty bad over here as well and uh, around the back of this mountain. So if you have changed the way that the world generates, then you are going to have problems like this, but it doesn't stop you from playing in the world. Now, Mojang have expressed a desire to continue support for the customized worlds. It's not going to make it into 1.13, and chances are we're going to see it in 1.13. So if you really want to preserve the world type that you're playing in, you might want to wait until 1.14 arrives. But anyway, that's it from me, this Minecraft tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, then leave a like. As always, thanks for the support. And if you're looking for more useful Minecraft videos, check out the tutorials playlist. It will be linked in the description box down below. There are loads of videos there for you to check out. But anyway, that is it from me this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.